Million Americans have liver disease, and when it comes to treating it, researchers at Pitt have just done something that no one else has ever been able to do. Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra explains how they've been able to grow actual human livers and how it could be a real game changer in treating liver disease. In this dish is a human liver, not removed from a person, but created from scratch. It's not really an idea that just comes, uh, it's not like wahoo, and next morning you'd think, oh, I'm going to make a human liver. It took five years of trial and error, but using stem cells, genetic and tissue engineering, organ cultures, and a team of experts in these areas, the researchers have come up with this. Here is the general chamber, so you're looking at the, the whole liver. A rat liver gets stripped of its cells so that only the connective tissue remains. From a small piece of human skin, the scientists pluck out stem cells and coax them into becoming human liver cells. The cells are collected. And here you have basically the syringe containing all the different liver cells. Then they're injected into the chamber, called a bioreactor, where they take up residence in the empty rat liver. The entire process from gathering the cells to make a liver to getting to this point where you have an actual mini human liver in a bioreactor takes several months. Take a quick look because it will stay alive or viable only for a few days. But in that short time, the researchers can try different medicines to treat the diseased liver. You could test any sort of therapeutic by simply, you know, injecting uh, this chemical through, um, through the system. In the past, animal livers played a role in this kind of research, but human livers didn't always respond in the same way. With this system, the cells have had genetic modification to recreate disease. For example, fatty liver, a growing problem in the United States. This technology has potential for personalized medicine. From your skin cells, they could grow your own mini liver to figure out which medicines would work for you. I believe it's a very good uh, biological tool to screen uh, treatments that are otherwise um, not being tested in humans themselves because it's dangerous. As it's designed, it would be a long stretch to create livers for transplantation. If you mean how far we are to make actual livers for people, I think we are very far away. Uh, we're probably many years away, but this is a good step. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.